students in secondary school and junior college in Singapore can resume some co-curricular activities on campus starting Monday. COVID-19 precautions have meant that they've been stopped for four months. Activities in primary schools will restart after the Education Ministry assesses the situation for older students. Co-curricular activities that are deemed lower risk, like coding, basketball and table tennis, can take place in schools again. And that's if they can cap the number of participants to 20 per activity and split them into groups of five if there's a need for close interaction. And schools will also have to modify game rules to keep students at least a metre apart and screen coaches and instructors for flu-like symptoms. MOE says there's no compulsory timeline to restart activities and schools have the flexibility to decide when to do so, taking into account factors like workload. One coding lesson provider says some schools that are conducting computing CCAs online plan to continue doing so for now. This has to be uh, really absolutely safe uh, yeah, uh, uh, for, for the students to go back to, to the class. Uh, to, to to adopt uh, uh, the training effectively, so so most of most of the student has already sometimes they already are getting used to the e-learning, so there's there's no rush for them to uh, just you know, go back to physical classes itself because there's still a lot of other uh, 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 things to sort out, especially on the logistics side, how how to effectively can segregate the students, sharing of equipment, sharing of laptops. But activities that see a high level of physical contact, like rugby scrum, won't be allowed to take place yet. And it's the same for those that involve singing, wind instruments or loud shouting due to the potential of exposure to aerosol and splatters.